Hey everyone, today I'll go over the style of uh, some new markdown headings that I configured. They look different. First, I'm going to show you how they look. Then I'm going to show how I set them up. So you can maybe apply this to your own configuration. If you use my own NeoBean config, this should work as soon as I apply the changes. So let's get right into it then. First, like I said, I'm just going to show you how these look. Let's jump to a file right now, and this is the new headings, right? This is level two headings. Let me bring up the level two and level three headings. What is that they're shown here? This is level one, level two, level three. I can unfold everything. Just gonna go back to level two, level three. Notice that I can still see which heading I'm on because the color changes. It has a different background. If I expand this, notice that its um, color is shown here as well in the entire line. So let me switch this back to all the level two headings. Let me switch to my blog post so you can see how it looks there. Just gonna fold everything here to level two. And I think I like the way that it looks better. Looks cleaner. Let me switch back to my old headings so we can see the difference. I'm going to change the color scheme to my old color scheme. And instead of setting this to transparent, I'm going to set it to solid. Let me switch back to my notes here and I'm just going to source my CSHRC file. And a few changes are going to happen in the background. Now the new colors are applied. I'm just going to reopen here. Um, NeoBIM, let me restore the session. And this is the way that my headings used to look in the past. The background color is solid. Let me bring up the level two and level three headings. They are shown here. And uh, I think this is too much for me now. I was used to it. I used to have spaces between each one of the headings, but I applied some new folding configurations and now I don't have spaces. I like the way this looks now because I want to keep all the headings one below the other one. So um, this solid background does not work with this style of headings anymore. But there are some people that will like this still. So that's why I'm leaving both of the options in my config. And now I'm going to show you how to set them up. Let's just unfold everything here so we can see the difference. Notice that if I unfold everything, it doesn't look that bad. You can easily find each one of the headings. If I fold them, it still doesn't look that bad, but I think it's too much for me now. So I prefer the new ones as of now. Let me switch back to the other team accession. I'm just going to undo these changes and I switch back here. I'm going to source the CSHRC file. This is going to apply the new color scheme. I'm just going to reopen NeoBIM here. And as you can see, we're using the new headings right now. So you can compare both of them, see which one you like the best. So now that I showed you how they look, let me show you how I apply these changes. I'm in my dot files here. Let me open the lazy git so we can go over the different changes that I applied. First of all, I'm sharing a variable in this file. Created this file. Notice that it has not been pushed yet. I'm just going to edit it. Notice that I have this um, color scheme profile. I use this for something else, but I just wanted to have both of these in the same file. So this is where I define my color scheme. So just to give you an example, right? If I comment this and I uncomment this other one and I just source my CSHRC file, it's going to quit out of here. Quit, source my CSHRC file. You're going to notice what's going to happen. The colors were changed basically everywhere. I don't know why that wallpaper was configured because that's not the right one. But anyway, it doesn't matter. I'm just going to restore the session and notice that I'm using right now a different set of colors, right? The headings look different. That's the way that um, this specific color scheme has the headings configured. So just let me switch it back then to this one. 
It's going to quit out of here and I'm just going to source my CSHRC file. That changed it. It also changed the wallpaper. I'm not sure why the other wallpaper was configured because it was supposed to be a different one, but it's fine. So you don't have to worry about this, but what you do have to worry about is this variable that I'm setting here, MD heading background, and it can have two values, transparent or solid. If you want to know how I changed all of the colors in my system, I have this video color scheme selector. I explain everything in detail there, so go and check it out. It involves a lot of steps and it's quite advanced, but if you know about Bash or if you want to learn about Bash, I think it would be a great video. All right, so this is the first change then. What do we have after? If I bring up LazyGit again, notice that I'm sourcing that file that I created in my Bash RC file. Why do I do that? That's just for the app that you see on the right, which is Kitty Notes. If you don't use that, just don't worry about that, okay? Because in Skitty Notes, I basically use Bash to bring it up instead of using um, CSH. So that's the only reason why this is there. But if you don't use it, just don't worry about it. This is the new file that we were looking at where I export the MD heading background variable. This carabiner file, don't worry about it. That has nothing to do with this. The highlights, that Lua file. I did apply some changes there. Let me bring this file up. And notice that I added a condition. If this BIM global variable, MD heading dash BG, is set to transparent, I set the markdown heading colors, the background and foreground colors, to the ones that are shown here. I'm using these variables here. You don't have to use variables. You can specify the values there directly. And if it's not transparent, notice there's an else here. I use a different set of colors, right? So these are the solid colors. These are the transparent ones. And where does this variable come from? Let me just close out of Neobyte here. And we're gonna look at that here in LazyGit, the init.lua file. This is where I declare that variable. Let me just edit this file and open it in Neobyte. And notice that this is what I added. I'm just setting this Vim global variable based on this environment variable, MD heading background, which is the variable that we exported in the CSHRC file. So that's the way that I make that variable come from my system into NeoVim. So let's close out of here then. Let's see what else did we apply. We already looked at the highlights.lua file. The other file that I changed is this render-markdown.lua. Let me edit this and it's going to open it in NeoByte. And notice that I added the same condition here as well. If the heading background, MD heading background variable is set to transparent, then I use two sets of colors, right? So these colors are for the transparent background or for the transparent headings, I'm sorry. And if we scroll down, you're gonna notice that there is an else here, and this is for the solid colors. You don't need to add this condition. You can hard code all of these values in your configuration files. I just wanted to have something dynamic that allows me to switch between the two different markdown heading styles without doing much work. So let's close out of this file Let's see what else did we change here. Let me just go over here. We already went through all of these. What else? Uh, I think that's basically it. Yeah. My CSHRC file. I don't know if we opened that or not already, but notice that in this file, the only thing that I'm doing is sourcing the other file in which I export the variable and also in which I declare the variable for the color scheme that I want to use. If I type liter GO, it's going to show me that I removed all of these lines, right? And I just modified this. So I'm just going to type liter GO again to not see those changes, but just so you can have an idea of what happened in the file. All right, so those were all of the changes. Let me see if I'm missing something here. I already did this. Oh yeah, 
there's a new fold expression. If you follow my heading configuration or my folds configuration, any of them, let me go to my key maps at Lua file. Just gonna quit out of Neovite and uh, let me open my key maps at Lua file. Old expression. Let me look for this old expression here. This folding section changed. So just come here, make sure you grab it to apply the changes. It starts from here and it goes all the way down to the folding. Where is it? Here and folding section. So that is what allows me to do this. C3 is going to bring up level two and level three headings. You won't be able to see it here that well, but if I jump to my Obsidian repo, Z2, that is just gonna show me level one and level two headings, C3, well, not C3, CL. It's gonna show me level one, two, and three. And if I do Z, what is that semicolon? That's Z4 for me. Um, that is going to show me level one, two, three, and four headings. That is what allows me to navigate between folds or in markdown files quite easily. That changed, and that is in my keymaps.lua file. To fold, still use this. I already went over this right now. And uh, I quickly want to thank the supporters. I have them listed here. All of them. So if you want to become one of these guys, remember you can go to Kofi donate there or you can become also a youtube member there's two at the moment and uh, here's all of the one-time donations in kofi i just want to say thanks to each one of you and um what else am i missing oh i'm gonna push these changes to github while i have you here so that i don't forget let's see remember the bash rc file you don't have to worry about this this is just something that I do for my Skitty Notes app on the right. So this is not something that you have to do on your side. What else do we have here? This is a new file that I created. Again, this is not something that you will need to do on your side as well. So I'm just going to commit this as well. My carabiner, this has nothing to do with what I'm doing right now. The highlights that Lua file, this one does have a lot to do because I added the condition. So I'm just going to commit this one as well. Okay, so here's my commit message for this file. That looks good. Um, this render markdown file as well. Yep, I added the condition on this one. I'm just gonna commit here. Okay, so this is my commit message. And on the init.lua file, I also performed some changes. So I'm just going to commit this as well. Okay, so I have this here. And uh, what else? CSHRC file. I also modified this. Okay, so I'm just going to commit it here. And uh, let's see. This is my commit message. And um, what is this? Okay, custom notification, nothing to do with this. Just gonna push all of these changes and you should have them already in my dot files. Here are my dot files in case that you're new to the channel. Notice that I'm at 691 stars at the moment. So if you like them, give them a star. Oh, and one final thing before I forget, just did this, just did this as well. If you want to join Discord, we have around 170 members, I think, or something like that. So I'm going to leave the link in the video description. You can join. Um, a lot of people is always there helping, sharing stuff. So I just want to say thanks to all the Discord members. Thanks for watching the videos and uh, helping others. So if you want to meet these amazing people, join Discord and... Um, and I'm pretty sure you're going to find a lot of people with same interests there. So, um, yeah, I think I already covered everything that I wanted to show today. Hope this video was useful and um, I'll see you in the next video.